Hey people, welcome to Top Cat's Liar or Lair Whatever. Oh my gosh, I got me a Switch. I got me a Switch, finally, finally. Uh, Big W in Australia uh, has a sale on starting today. Uh, $379 for a Switch, which is 20 bucks less than other places, which have been discounted down as well. So, um... Not bad, not bad. I don't know, I I did not get hyped for the Switch at all when it got launched. I was like, there are no games on it that I care about. There are just, I don't know, they're just not interested. And then they started getting exclusives. I got a bit peeved they got Bayonetta 2 uh, remastered onto there. Um, I mean, basically it came out on the Wii U, which was the uh, Nintendo console prior to this one. But... I tell you what, there's been some exclusive announcements coming out about uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and just uh, I've been getting more hyped about other games. RPG Maker, I just found out today is coming out on it. That'd be fun to get, get to create my own RPGs and shit. Um, put that together. Um, what else? What else? Uh, there's that cool kind of Castlevania inspired game with a female protagonist instead. That looks cool. Um, I'll show you what I got. I also got uh, three games. Um, I got the obvious, the usual suspects. Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Um, never really been into the Zelda series, so I don't know. <laughs> but it was, it, again, the games also cheap at Big W, so hit them up if you've uh, been waiting for this to go down in price. Big W has it fairly cheap um compared to what it usually is anyway it's like 20 bucks less um super mario odyssey basically i'm a single players guy um i did not get the mario kart i did not get the smash bros i'm i'm also not a nintendo fanboy although one of my fondest memories growing up was my first ever console which was the super nintendo and that Oh my god, was so good, and then I got so pissed off that it was not backwards compatible. The that that the Nintendo sixty four was not com uh, backwards compatible, um, and so I moved to PlayStation, and I've been on PlayStation ever since. Um, more on that. I also got this twenty five bucks, Gold Edition, Trails, Rising. Uh, trials rising um fun bike game oh my god what happened it's all blurry there we go uh fun bike game uh i didn't get the uh, i think i've got the first one and i've never played it um the one before this one uh but it looks like a fun just a simple fun bike game another game i want to get which is already out is uh i was going through all the trailers of different Nintendo Switch games, and the the only one where I went, oh, 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 oh consistently, was the Kirby, uh, I think it's Kirby All Stars or Kirby Allies or something. It's the Nintendo Switch Kirby game. It just looks cute as hell. Um, I think it's only fifty five dollars at the moment, um, but. I think these games will do me for a while. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, if I'm such a Sony fanboy, why make the Switch to Switch? Well, one of the big things that you might have noticed is that um, when people talk about PlayStation versus Switch, uh, they often come out with JRPGs. Um on both those consoles and what's been happening recently uh even though they're both known for releasing good jb jrpgs sony has started this new policy of censoring sexual content not violent content can be as violent as you want you can kick someone's head through their ass in mortal kombat you can do whatever you like, right? But have 
fan service, like anime fan service in particular. And for some reason, they go insane. And they're like, censor it, put bright beams of light. Even Devil May Cry had one and they removed it now. But um, that didn't bother me because I was like, oh, I'll never, I'll probably never play Devil May Cry games. I'm not that big on them. Uh, even though I like Bayonetta, another reason for the Switch, because um, it has Bayonetta too. <laughs> um, so it has a few really good exclusives. Um, it's not a very powerful machine, so uh, some games you're better off getting on the other consoles or PC. Um, I have no idea how Witcher's going to play on it. My god. Um... That would just be a novel idea, just to have a portable version of The Witcher. But, oh my god, the frame rate would be just horrible. Um, I saw this really funny review of what the um, wrestling uh, 2K18 looked like on the Switch. And it just, it chugged, it even froze at some points. It was that badly optimized for the Switch. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so the Switch isn't that, like, isn't all that, but I wanted, I wanted something on the go for long transits. I mean, I have audiobooks, I have that kind of thing, but I've missed gaming. I miss gaming and you can, you can do only so much on your phone, but I, I, I see a lot of people with Switches on public transport um having a good old time and i look over and i go oh that looks pretty cool but yeah sony censorship i if you know me i'm big on being against sexual repression uh of any kind whether it's sexual repression against uh people who are homosexual or people who are straight it doesn't matter to me, it's it's all the same bad. Sexual repression is bad. Um, it's it, uh, only if you like have some kind of problem where you can't help yourself. Um, but demonizing sex in our society is like it's getting to this point where I'm like enough. I'm going to financially support the people that aren't against sex and aren't against fan service, basically. Um, because it's titillation and nobody gets hurt. It's an animation. Seriously. Anime? Just, just what? Like, why, why would you, why would you care? Why would you care? What, what some person does in the privacy of their own home with their own shit. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why are you, what, what is with this nanny state? And yet they're not censoring violence. It, games have never been more violent <laughs> than they are today. So it's fine to kill someone, but not to kiss them, you know, fine to see, see what their organs, internal organs look like. But not their breasts. Not, not, you know, that's wrong. Fuck. What, what is, what is a society turning into? Really? Um, but yeah, but yeah, because every study has, has proved that it doesn't, it doesn't change your, the, the way you think about actual people. It, it does not change it. It's an it's especially animated stuff. You don't make the connection. It's a cartoon. So what's a what's a little bit of a, of titillation? You know what the hell? But yeah. Um, but I started off with with the basics, with the basics kind of stuff. Um, because I don't know. I don't know. Zelda's always fascinated me, but I've never liked the gameplay. So, Zelda was a risk. But, 
I tell you what, Mario has always made me happy. Mario always makes me smile. And this just looks, it looks like a GTA Mario, basically. So, um, I'm into that. Uh, there, basically the, the, the tipping point for me was there is a, uh, I'm, I'm into this series of games, uh, that are, what, what are they called? Uh, Hyper Dimension, uh, Neptunia. And there's a game coming out that's like a 2D platformer, um, doesn't even look that impressive and yet... Uh, it's coming out for PlayStation and Switch, and the Switch version is uncensored. How is this possible? Like, Nintendo used to be the ones that would censor everything, and Sony would be the ones uh, putting out the real shit. And now, I don't know, I don't know. But I couldn't just go, wow, I want to see fake titties. <laughs> Or I want to see fan service or sexually suggest. It's not even like actual nudity. It's like sexually suggestive stuff is getting cut. It's stupid. It's so stupid. It's so reactionary. And really, it, the, the tipping point was they, they actually have some games now. Like, I know I just got some regular games that they already had but this in the next few months they will have like a good good roster of games um and, and plus i would have gotten bayonetta too but they hadn't they didn't have it so i might check out amazon amazon seems to have some good deals as well so mm. anyway i'll catch you later on the top cats layer or layer whatever I'll let you know what I think of the Switch, if I have time. And I have that play on coming up in July. So check that out. It's a Wonderful Life at Heidelberg Theatre Company. See ya.